It's Thursday. Self-care Thursday. It's time. I'm in trouble because uh, I just finished packing and everyone's leaving, so here's the outfit, okay? All right, we're going. <laughs> by hand because they'll take the bucket. Weren't you listening? Weren't you listening? I thought he said don't feed them by hand because they'll No, he said feed them by hand, which is what I'm doing because they'll take go. the bucket. Go. Somebody doesn't listen. All right, all right. Come on. Here you go. Look, there's all parts of over here. No, Dad. Oh. I'll show you how to do it. Here, you want to do it? Okay, okay. They will. <laughs> Hi, peaches. <laughs> Thank you, grazie. Ciao, y'all. Instructions. Yeah. Okay, I'm so ready. you guys can do this either one or two ways. You can either eat outside right around here where one of our tables are at. Mm -hmm. Or if you want something a little bit more air conditioned and AC, you can go right. So we get instructions. And we need to follow which ones we eat first, <laughs> which is good because we apparently need instructions for not just eating chocolate, but um, <laughs> also entering buildings. <laughs> so, 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 
first one we're going to start with is the round white disc. Okoa cho white chocolate, 34% cacao butter. Winner of best white chocolate in the world for six years. I'm pretty sure dad's favorite is white chocolate. Dang, I didn't get You're the ones eating chocolate. You're Here. Me a bite. <laughs> Actually, it's very good. Not a fan of that one. No, it's open. The next one is the round light brown disc. <laughs> Stop. I like milk chocolate, so. <laughs> White toffee. I don't like <laughs> Something cute. 
Okay, so um, we are in Fredericksburg, Texas, which is cool. It's a very, mom wanted to do a quilt show, also very awesome. We love, we support the arts, especially mom's art. And uh, so we're in Fredericksburg and we decided to stay over the night and we were gonna have dinner with mom's quilting friends, also fantastic. They are lovely, I'm obsessed, I love them, they're awesome. So we go to take a picture and uh, one of the waiters was like, oh my God, I love your boots. And I'm like, thank you. We have to bring a little jersey into Texas, right? Cause, <clears throat> can I do it? <clears throat> yeah, okay. So Jersey girl, Texas, rhinestones. It's just how we roll. Anyway, so I'm about to call hubby and um i'm gonna go downstairs i'm just gonna have a little chat with him he's filming for um for broadway which is awesome fantastic and i was really excited to go back up and talk about how he's filming for broadway which is so cool but anyway anyway so just before i walk down the stairs this guy with his son is talking suddenly like, did I hear you wanted to bring some Jersey into Texas? And I was like, oh yeah, you know, I got my boots. I gotta bring some Jersey into Texas. It's just how we roll here. And he's like, well, you know, I, I gotta, he's like, those are nice boots, but you need some real cowboy boots. I'm gonna get you some real cowboy boots. I'm like, oh, okay. And he's talking to me. He's like, well, I went to, up to Connecticut to get me a boat and this, this and that. I'm like, okay. It's like telling me this whole 4,500 miles I drove, got my Marine buddies, we went out, got the, all the way up to Connecticut, New New Haven. I'm like, oh yeah, it's really nice up there. It's beautiful. Yup, so we drove up there, got myself a boat, came back down. Well, I got actually, I got two or three boats. I'm like, was it two or was it three? Anyway, so so then he, he was like, well, when your middle name is Go, you just go. I'm like, yeah, it makes sense, you know? You don't stop when you go. <laughs> Ing. <laughs> he's like yep but i'm zeb by the way this is my son ashton and i'm like mm -hmm. and he's like i'm zeb and i'm like oh um i'm alex <laughs> and he's like well it's, it's a pleasure to meet you alex i said nice to meet you zeb ashton very nice to meet you and i was like well yeah have a good night and i walked down the stairs to where the water was so i could call hubby so i call hubby and i'm like listen there's a guy he is Listen, I don't know if it's Texas. Maybe they're just really friendly here and they just want to talk you up and talk to you. Like, maybe I'm just like totally misreading this and he's just like a nice guy. I just want to be nice. But I really think that if I go up there, he's going to like ask for my number or something. Like I got some it, weird vibes, right? So, <laughs> so then my baby brother comes downstairs. And I'm like, Victor, please don't leave me down here. If we go up, I need you to go up with me. So, <laughs> so he he's like i tell him the whole shebang and he's we're he we're about to go up and he's like oh they're they're leaving he's like oh but mom's talking to this guy i'm like fuck right i'm like okay maybe he's gonna hit on her instead of me right because they're like closer in age anyway so <laughs> so i come up with with victor the baby brother and He's like, oh, well, I see where you get it from. Your mama is beautiful. And you, he tells my mom, your daughter is absolutely beautiful. And she's like, oh, well, yeah. And I'm like, okay, let's fucking go, please. <laughs> and and um, she's just really friendly, so she doesn't really get it. But anyway, I'm pulling her, and she's like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, fucking blah. And I'm like, oh, fucking no. And um, so anyway... We're walking, right? And I'm, at one point, he's still talking. He's like, well, I gotta, you know, I'm gonna get you some cowboy boots, blah, fucking blah. I'm like, oh my God, no. Like, and Victor is like a king. He's a king. He goes, he goes, well, what's wrong with her cowboy boots? There's nothing wrong. She's, he's like, she's doing very well with these cowboy boots. In fact, they're quite eye-catching. What does she need new cowboy boots for? And he's like, well, they're all right, nice, but I can get you some real cowboy boots. He's like, these are real cowboy boots. <laughs> Like, thank you, Victor. Thank you. Thank you. Like, also, like, yeah, come on. Like, who wants to blend the fuck in when you can stand the fuck out? Am I right or am I right? Anyway, so, <laughs> sorry. So, anyway, so he's still, he's still like, now he's up and he's like coming out. I am surrounded by my family. My parents and my baby brother are with me. Okay. Thank God, by the way. Thank fucking God. So, 
now we're walking up the steps and there's like this one part where he can't see me and I start fucking running, running. So I'm running at this point and he starts running after me and he's like, well, how often are you around in Texas? And I'm like, I don't know. I just come and visit my family. <laughs> and he's like, oh, well, well, when you come out into Texas, you should hit me up. And I just kind of froze. And I was like, huh? <laughs> he's like, you should hit me up. I'll get you some cowboy boots. My family is with me. They're with me. <sighs> so don't be this person. Don't fucking be this person. So he he's like i'm into fracking he's like this big money making oil guy like i have all you know bragging about all the shit that he has i'm like listen does this face look like i need a sugar daddy yeah probably but like i'm not the one <laughs> it's not me okay maybe 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 later anyway so he hands me his business card and then my dad is flirting with him. He's like, oh, fracking. And then my mom says something about, well, she's from Jersey. They're all green up there. And then he's like, oh, well, you can't do green without oil. And my dad's like, oh, God, never. I'm like, oh, my fucking God, just fucking kill me. I can't. We're trying to say goodbye to mom's friends. And he is still talking. And I'm like, just please fuck off so you don't see where the car goes. Finally, he leaves. And I'm like, I, I can't believe this happened. I don't know how this happened. Anyway, Victor said... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what Marissa would say? DJ's girlfriend. She would be like, you need to tell them what your YouTube is. And Victor's like, yeah, lesbo every day. <laughs> so the go. I don't know if you got it. Anyway, the vibe was that I'm unavailable. Anyway, I would have thought it was hysterical. So <laughs> but yeah. But uh, yeah, these boots are apparently made for fucking running because yeah, we're not gonna do that. Not the fucking vibe, but yeah, all right, all right. <sighs> anyway, that was story time. I hope you enjoyed because that was terrifying because nobody should be chased by a man, especially with their family. Like, get it's not the vibe, bro. It's not, this is not it. it I'm not the one, anyway. Um, yeah, so anyway, it was great seeing the beautiful, cute little water buffalo. How cute were they? All right, I'm, I'm fucking, I need to go to bed. I love you guys. <laughs> we're going to see a cool show tomorrow. It's going to be great, I hope. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Anyway, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you tomorrow. Until next time.